the police are always watching you. Nailed it. I'm bad at acronyms and stuff like that. Oh, in any case, hello, bearded person. <laughs> so it's close. good to see you again. So close. Um, what do I need? Do I need anything? It's okay. The first thing I thought was not good for uh, streaming. It's very inappropriate. Inappropriate. <laughs> Anyway, I feel like we should do something more interesting than just dig a hole and, um, whatever it else is that we did last time. I concur. Um, so what do you want to do? I've been watching a lot of, like, build battles, but those work best in creative mode, so I don't know if we could do that. Um, so I was supposed to take a moment before we started streaming to count how many blocks it took between, um our base and the snow base oh my god no hella chunks <clears throat> yeah That's but the answer. In instead i was thinking how about um we create a passage to the nether and you can do your battling the nether things and i could create a passageway that hopefully connects the two uh okay. bases well we would need to still count it out to figure out how many we need in the underworld well it's however many blocks are above us um, times eight. Right. Uh, no, uh, divided by eight. Right. So we need to know what the overland is before we go down. Um, okay. This may take a while on my part, which I can do while, uh, you're doing something interesting, like... Like making weapons uh, and preparing for battle? <laughs> yes, that thing. <laughs> I should probably use one of my diamonds to maybe make a sword. Oh, so Taylor says, um, like, CCTV, like, Capital Vices, Twitch TV. Oh, right, um, I thought it originally stand for Capital Vices Tiddy Television, but <laughs> that's <laughs> that because my brain, my brain can't do the things that, you know, normal people do. Yeah. Like, um, make connections and stuff. Meow. Meow, meow, meow. Battling nether things. Giggity giggity. Yes. Yes, I do. Um, so as we are starting this game, uh, and our preparation for battle of the hell things, what is everybody in chat playing? If anything. Or if you're just tuning in or multicasting, like, what is up? It's been a while. Yeah, dog. All right, What's okay. up in his house? I want those. I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring the silk touch diamond pickaxe in case we come across glowstone. Good plan because, because that stuff is finicky. Yeah. I found out you can just make it with like regular glowstone dust, but I'm just like I don't want to do that. That's a because like you don't even get like four dust when you break a cube. Oh, I know. It's so sad. It's such a waste. So, um, I also, uh, what's it called? I called out Rowan on the Facebooks to hopefully see if he could, uh, Come in chat? join us. Mm -hmm. Yes. I just finished Black Guards. Uh, that sounds cool. I don't know what that is, though. I am so behind in the things that are... Relevant. <laughs> yes. I just finished Chapter 3 of Titan's Grave. Oh, I am so happy for you. How are you liking it? Um, so it took me a little while to kind of get into it because, uh, I'm so used to fantasy, uh, whatchamacallit, um, like fantasy RPGs, like okay. D&D, sure. that I'm just like, oh yeah, there's a thing out there, like, um, that's called, oh crap, what was it, science punk, or, uh, cyberpunk, cyberpunk, yeah, which is kind of the setting for this game. Yeah. And it's like, after a while of getting used to that, I was like, oh yeah, I do kind of like this. I also like that their only rewards are five gold and a party. <laughs> Put that on a t-shirt. Oh my god, I would totally wear that t-shirt too. Oh my god, like, I have such a crush on, like, Laura Bailey. Like, n sort of only half kidding. Um, and this actually has kind of, like, increased my crush rating on Will Wheaton. Oh yeah. 
uh, as well as realizing that he is actually a fairly good GM. Yeah. Well, he also had help. So his son is actually, um, he helped write some of the main story points. Who is um, reason has a son? He had, I think, I think they're technically stepsons. Um, they were, <coughs> aunt, they were Anne's kids before they got married. Um, um but, all these things I don't know. But he studied literary arts and creative writing and so like that was right up his alley nice it doesn't also hurt that he's a nerd yeah um taylor says i'm uh, torn between dragons dogma jotun or silence of the sheep um i've played a demo of dragons dogma but i didn't enjoy it but i've heard it was a good game um, which you call it? Uh, I've never heard of the other two. Bro, I thought you'd be stoked for Blade and Soul now that it's like officially out. Where did my sticks go? Oh, I have your sticks. God dang it, Steph. There. Your sticks have been returned. These are like all my mining tools right in this area. Sorry. Um, I should go make more. Except for this. Except for this acacia door. I don't need those doors. <laughs> don't know how they got there. Are they really acacia? It says acacia. Oh, okay. Oh, you know what? I think I took out all the acacia doors, and then... Uh, um, did you plant another jungle tree? I did. Oh, it's okay. the short one. Yeah. That's not super tall. I don't know why it's not growing taller. Alright, so I'm taking the, uh, the other route of you, where you're preparing for battle, and I'm totally not preparing for battle. That's fair. Um, do you know where the rest of our flint is? Oh, um... Do you have, like, a chest of it somewhere? Kind of? <laughs> okay. Yes, yes I do. Okay. If you come into the silos... I shall, momentarily. Ah, uh, skeleton. In the silo? Well, he's in a hallway, which is surprisingly well lit. I hate you. I hate you, friend. Die. Aha, you death. Which hallway? Was it the one I made? Oh, whoops. You stop moving. You're back. All right. Oh, so, <laughs> you just covered. Uh, yeah, I know. Wait, let this me go get those is... arrows. Go for it. I need those arrows. But Anyway, so, so this chest. I kind of um, organize uh, chest by colors. Right. So the andestite chest. Over here is the uh, granite chest, the dirt chest, and then the uh, gravel and flint chest. So if you need any flint, it's in this upper right chest. Yep. I'm going to go make some arrows. Um, I need to see how many feathers I have, and if I don't have enough, then there's going to be another cluckening. Oh no, not the cluckening. <laughs> oh right, I was supposed to go count how many things are going to be here. Yeah, go count. Yep, so if you hear radio silence from me, it's because I'm keeping a very large number stuck in my head. Or doing math. Man, Ooh. I only have 23 feathers. Alright, check some of the other chests. Uh, okay, well that gives me a stack and a half, that's not bad. I can survive the nether with that much. Huh. Aww. Sorry, I'm just reading Potato's thing of uh, Black Guards, which is German D&D &D set in a tropical Arab setting. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Turn-based hex map combat. Oh, okay, cool. Cool. Um, right. I'm gonna bring a bunch of potatoes. Oh my god! Yeah, I know. There's a uh, thunder and lightning outside, so if I die, it's lightning-based. That, that was intense. Meow, meow. Cats do not shut up. Um, alright, so I don't need that. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put more sticks in your chest. In the silos. Okay, sounds good. Two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight. Uh, uh, 
ねえ、Steph, while I'm counting very quietly,、mm -hmm. you should totally interact and ask questions on Stiffs. Oh, I was afraid to talk too much because I didn't want to like interrupt your train of thought. Oh, no, I'm on number 90 right now, and I think I'm about halfway down the bridge. Oh, okay. Um, so, um, Potato was also mentioning that not only is it a turn based hex map,、uh, but the art style is wa oil watercolors. So that's really cool. Um, the first act sounds like it's not too bad, but the second act is more difficult. So that's good. It sort of like ramps up as you learn the game a little bit more. That's, that's important. <laughs> that is. How, how's the game volume for you guys? Oh, Taylor says, Holy crap, this place is massive. Yeah, so welcome to our house.、Uh, this is one of several bases that we've been working on. Um. Here, let me give you, I guess, like the tour.、Mm. Oh, thank God. What's that? That makes it so much easier to count. Did you just、um, put a tower every couple chunks?、Uh, no, there's actually.、Um, it is counted very.、Uh, I guess. Okay. So I count、uh, every tower based off of every 47.、Um, Uh, torches that I lay down on the road. Oh, okay. Which, if you count from the base of the beginning tower to the end of the next tower, is 150 squares. Oh. So now all I have to do is count from where I am how many towers I pass till I get to my home base. And then multiply it. And then, yeah, multiply it by 150. Beautiful. And, and then divide that by 8. And that will decide how many. Things that we have to go in the nether. Gotcha.、Um, okay. Hello, Internet. Welcome to Minecraft where we do math and stuff. It's <laughs> the only way you'll ever get me to do math.、Um, yeah, so this is the house.、Uh, we have some sheep that are multicolored. We have pigs, we have chickens, we have bunnies.、Um, this is a tree farm, which we haven't pruned in probably two or three weeks now, and that's okay. You guys would love this upcoming MMO. Camelot Unchanged. They have housing construction, a system that seems to function a lot like this. Camelot Unchained. I feel like I've heard that before, but I, ha I don't think I've ever actually seen it.、Um, I don't know. I'm kind of、uh, skeptical about MMOs、um, just because I've been so disappointed before. Yeah. No, I hear you. I'm sort of the same way. Um, okay, so here is the foyer grand entrance hall thing.、Uh, have... I have been tempted to try、uh, Black Desert, which has been coming out,、mm -hmm. kind of,、um, only because their character creation is like, so like, on fleek. Yeah, I, <laughs> <laughs> I downloaded the character generator. I made Thea yesterday. Oh, cool.、Yeah. I cannot wait to see her. Um, you can't customize the outfits though. All the outfits are like pre made, which I was a little bummed about. Yeah, I had a feeling it was going to be that. But Because like none of, that, can... none of the outfits are like really her. And I was like, oh. I mean, like, I'm sure that、uh, no one's going to have Mal's outfit, which is very Tim Burton esque. Oh, yeah, but... no. All right. We are. I should probably take out my map. Probably. So、should. I can tell where the hell I am. There we go. Uh, let's see, I think it's still in dev. It's maybe the studio created by Dark Age of Camelot. Uh, I never these words mean、either. nothing to me. <laughs> yeah. We are, we're not very good gamers.、Uh, We are so good at the games. <laughs> All right, I'm at five so far. Five towers?、Uh, yep, and I am just entering the desert. This is going to be a long way. So, are you showing off the base for the, like. I am. I am. I'm doing it, like, in a very quiet way. Like, I'm just sort of running around, not necessarily giving, like, a tour tour, but still showing everything. Because, I mean, for some people, this is, like, the third time that you've seen this house. Right, which is why I'm trying to be, like, sort of on the DL about it.、Um, mm hmm.